Today at Sikh Channel Studios, we are joined by by Harinam Singh Khalsa Ji from Canada, who has an extraordinary story to tell all of us. Many of you uh, need no introduction to Pai Sahib Ji, but uh, for the new generation, for all the Sangat, all the viewers of Sikh Channel, we would like to welcome him back since he's been part of the Sikh Channel journey for a very long time as well. Pai Sahib Ji, we are delighted to have you back in a new studio, in a new environment, Thank among many things, this as well has changed. I'd like to first of all welcome Thank you with the Fateh, Vajji Khalsa. How do you feel being back, not just on C Channel, Thank being you. back in UK, being back in this Sangat? Thank you. It's really great. Uh, we stopped coming because of COVID. Our last trip here was 2018, our last tour. And we're just very blessed. Sangat has been very responsive, of course. We're traveling the country, mm. England side and uh, Scotland, Gurdwars, and meeting with Sangat, greeting Sangat, uh, doing the uh, Katha Vajar at the Gurdwars. Mm. And uh, very excited to be back. I'm very happy to see everyone. Great. And to be back at Sikh Channel. Yeah. Um, as I just mentioned, there has been a lot of change. Mm -hmm. um, personally, you know, before COVID, we used to think change just in the sense of career, mm -hmm. change just in the sense of age. But after COVID, um, a lot of things have changed. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have lost family members. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have lost jobs. Um, of course, a lot of positive things have happened as well. People have finally realized the importance of being together mm -hmm. with family, not mm -hmm. taking things for granted. Travel-wise as well, mm -hmm. uh, we have started realizing the importance of exploring and making that move to go meet the loved ones before mm -hmm. it's too late. Mm -hmm. How did these past two, three years of change, if I might say, mm -hmm. has affected you? Well, the lockdowns, the, the uncertainty about what COVID was and who would be affected, how would it be affected, do you wear a mask, is a mask going to help things? There's a lot of questions and then just keeping us separated. You know, I did, certainly in Canada, all the gurdwaras were closed, the lunger halls were closed. You could not take and then come back out again, everything was very tight. People's minds become tight because it's such a change and the change happens so quickly hmm. that there's a there's a wellness aspect to it in terms of people's own wellness and self-being and so after COVID it's great because now we want to be together we want to see everybody and but it created a, a different mindset hmm. in the world and certainly in, in, in the minds of our families as to what is our future and what happens in our future and what will happen to the world so it it not only was a, a personal change for each of us in that regards, but it's a whole way of how do we re-understand living, hmm. right? Because yeah. before that, we just didn't think about it. Yeah. We lived, we were, we went here, we went there with each other. We didn't think that there would become a time when we wouldn't be able to see loved ones. We wouldn't be able to meet with family. We wouldn't be able to come together as Sangat. Hmm. And that has a psychological effect. Hmm. So obviously, when things are open now, yeah, we feel a lot better because we have that opportunity. Yes, we can be together. We can go out with each other. But it creates that little bit of that fear mm. and anxiety. And that anxiety and fear and stress has taken a toll, and especially for a big degree in our young adults as well, and our young people. So we have to look at it's great that uh, we have this chance now to be together with each other. Mm. But we have to just keep, my belief is just keep, pushing and pushing that this world can somehow come to some change, come to some peace. And if we can feel what is the true freedom of life. That's very well said. Uh, Paiji, you used the word Sangat in between. So Andy. I was just going to ask you, like all of this, how does this bring about in cha a change in Sangat, Andy. in how they approach Sikhi? Andy. When you go and do Prachar among Sangat, Andy. when you are speaking to them, do you see any difference in the way they have started approaching their path to Sikhi, practicing it before it might just be a religious thing, a faith-based mm -hmm. thing for them. But now do you see that it's rather a way of life? They've started to see it as an important way of life, not just uh, a faith-based, um, mm -hmm. you know, activity. I understand. Well, 
you know, it's, um, we hope that, you know, we certainly, our prayer is that Sangat kind of has a bit of a wake-up call, and, and this was a wake-up call to Sangat, yeah. to really understand the value in certain of our faith, in terms of Sikhi, the value of having Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj in our life, mm-hmm. and the importance of what is not just cultural, but what is our devotion, what is our spirituality. And I think that that's the wake-up call to Sangat. You know, with COVID, we saw that our Sangat really separated. Hmm. So when the Sangat was always together, and we were always at Gautwara Sahib, we had programs, Gee. people's homes, you know, and that was our routine. And certainly my routine was that, and hmm. that came to an end, that stopped. Hmm. And when that stopped, Sangat kind of di- dispersed, yeah. right? Because yeah. we couldn't go to the Gudwars, we couldn't visit people's homes, we couldn't share that. So. That did give, as what you're saying, it did give an opportunity to become more focused into pot, more focused into Simran, Mm. because that's what we had to hold on to. Mm -hmm. Because we couldn't go to the Gudwara Sahib, not everybody has Maharaj Sarup in their homes, you know, to to have that direct connection. So I think coming back to it, as you're saying, there's a more of a desire to find that connection. And because of the, the mental stress, we want that connection. Yeah. We want to feel we're part, that we're not separated from God, we're not separated from Guru. And that's a major shift and change in the psyche of Sikhi. Hmm. And Sikhi is going through right now a very ter- turmoil of time, hmm. not just COVID, but as you know, because of other circumstances and situations where a lot of a lot of us have to make that choice. Hmm. You know, do we truly trust and believe that Guru is handling it, taking care of it, and that, as Guru says, we shall be carried through. Hmm. And we have to be an inspiration for our children, our young adults, yourselves, who are coming up in Sikhi to to realize that change has to happen. And I think COVID, more than anything, in my mind, said change has to happen. Hmm. And if we don't make those changes in Sikhi itself and in our devotion and in Sangat, then we're going to have trouble in Sankat, and we're going to lose a lot of our young people. Because the relevance of Guru, maybe COVID has given a little more relevance, but that relevance generally has to now become more to the forefront, especially what's happening now in the Punjab, especially hmm. what's going on there now that we, that if anything, although obviously it's not good, but if anything, it's bringing a focus. It's bringing a focus to us that we have to stay devoted at the feet of the Guru and trust that even though there is the persecution, there is the problem, that Guruji will guide us through it. Hmm. And that's what Gurbani is saying all the way from beginning to end. Trust. Trust that Guruji, Guru Sahib will carry you even when we can't carry ourselves. Hmm. That's, a, that's a switch in consciousness. Yeah. And we as Sikhs have to shift our consciousness. The problem is that the old standard of Sikhi is as is in the world the old standards are not relevant to today's moving and uh, changing world and we have to change as our children want to we have to change as these times change and Sikhi has to grow and develop and evolve itself to make that change there's a saying that if you don't change with the times the times change you Mm -hmm. you get caught we have a technology and a science in Sikhi to raise us, to lift us, to guide us. Everything that's going on in the world today has been predicted in by the Gurus. That this Kali Yuga, this time would come and we'd be challenged. Sikhs have been challenged from day one and will continue to be challenged. Why? Because we have a technology, a science, and a teaching that elevates the spirit of humanity. And there's those who don't want the spirit of humanity elevated. <laughs> Absolutely. Paji, talking about what's happening in Punjab, Punjab at the moment, Sikhi has always been Miri and Piri Hanji. together. Hanji. Bhakti cannot stand alone if Hanji. we are not uh, focused on the political scenarios mm-hmm. because Guru Sahib have said that, you know, where there is Barney, Gurbani, mm. Nam Simran, at the same time, we have to take charge mm. and we have to be the leaders Anji. and we have to see about the Raj, the Sikh Anji. Raj as well. Anji. With a lot of persecutions, as you can say, mm. happening in Punjab, how do you think the diaspora, the Sikh diaspora, whether in Canada, mm. UK, America, Australia, how can we 
contribute. There are protests, there are a lot of online debates happening, Andy. but somehow it is just giving in more and more way to anger, to resentment towards what, what the government is doing mm -hmm. there. How can we deal with it better, with knowledge, with Nam Simran, Andy. better equipped, so that you know the future generations are also Mm -hmm. uh, on the right path to know more about Punjab, even if they are not born Thank and you. brought up there. Thank so you. how do you think that the diaspora can deal with this better? Because personally speaking, it's been affecting me as Thank well. You. you know, it creates anger. Um, it's very easy to give in to, uh, you know, online debate and stoop to the level of uh, abusing the others. Mm -hmm. And, you know, while mm -hmm. what we want to do is educate them with better words but if we are we don't have proper knowledge ourselves we wouldn't be able to do so mm -hmm. and with times changing we want our children to have that knowledge as well so that if somebody targets mm -hmm. they have the correct mm -hmm. words the mm -hmm. correct tools the correct equipment to mm -hmm. deal with it mm -hmm. what's your take on it number one is whenever we react to any situation we lose it right and we're reacting. So when there's a reaction, and also within our Sangits, there's opportunists. Those who want to take the opportunity to create anger, to create division, uh, to further create a world image of a Sikh as just troublemakers or violent people. Mm -hmm. right? And that's what the mainstream media, media, and certainly we know the media in India, wants to portray Sikh as violent people. Mm -hmm. right? Well, we're not violent people. In fact, we're some of the most peaceful people. Yeah. But, and I'm, I'm, I'm not born sick. I don't have family in India. I don't know the depth of the pain that you, you're feeling. Yeah. Hanji, I can feel it from you. I yeah. Can, from, you know, I'm with Sangat. And I can help as best I can. But the problem is that if we react to it and we start blaming others and then pointing our fingers and creating more uh, dust, and more turmoil is going to bring more pressure to the Sangits. I think if we focus on education, focus on the contacts we have and through our media like the Sikh channel to understand that this is a time that Guruji has predicted to happen, that we know we're going to be under persecution, we know that there's going to be, as there has been from the time of our Gurus, those who want to stop our message. Mm. The message that we have as Sikh, as Khalsa, the Khalsa Raj, is to serve and help humanity and help humanity to bring this world to peace. But we know there's forces in this world within our Sangits and outside that don't want peace, that want to create disharmony, that want to create division, that want to separate us. Problem is in these days, because of what's happened over the past 10 years with what they call the fake news and the uh, you know, you don't know what to believe, is this true, is that true, and there's been so much that what's happened actually is that um, those who are so-called in power are trying to divide the mind of the human being, to create a doubt within us. So what did they try? Years ago they flooded drugs. Well, the drugs aren't working. They try to just get us to keep quiet. Then they tried medications, other things. Now the target is our minds. It's a very concerted effort in this world to create a mind of a human being that can't think. Hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we call it duality, isn't it? Is it yeah. duality. So we don't know, is this real, is that real? Is this real? Well, is that the black side saying real or is that side real? And it's created a doubt in people's minds. But we have a technology in science in Guru Sahib. We have a science in Gurbani that nothing can separate that mind. And if you read from Gurbani, more Gurbani says, and Guru uh, Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj said more than anything, if you can't command this mind of yours, you lose it. And we've lost that command in Sikhi of our minds. Mm -hmm. We don't take it that way to understand it that way. Yeah. Right now we need patience. Mm -hmm. We need tolerance. We need acceptance of each other. We need to understand that through collective in the world, the Sikh community throughout the world can come together to educate and use this time for education mm. and use this time for us to send a message to the world that we are people of peace. And that yes, on the other hand, we will not tolerate persecution. Persecution of Sikh or persecution of anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Anybody. Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, fight for everybody. Midi pity means we become that soldier, that warrior, but we also become that son. Hmm. That's that's the, the double-edged sword that we walk. 
So everything, what I learned, I've been with you now almost 50 years, a long time, is that we have to keep spreading a message. Hmm. I've been traveling the world for how many years? You know we've been with you guys for a long time. Hmm. To spread a simple message, my best language is English, to spread that simple message that seeks our purveyors of truth, hmm. who are purveyors of peace. We're here to do save it to help others. We want to fight anywhere within either our own faith or other faiths, any persecution of people's rights to choice to live. And that's what our gurus stood for. Mm. That's what our gurus gave their lives for. That's what the Sabjata gave their life for. Not just for Sikh. Mm. This history is not known to the world. Mm. Right, Chief? So back to the original question. <laughs> faith. We have to have faith mm. and educate and educate the world that this is injustice mm. and that we will stand for that injustice no matter what the situation is, but we'll stand for it with a peaceful uh, exp ex expression of that, not a violent expression. As soon as we move to the stage of violence, we lose it. The, word, the world press then again portrays us that we're just running around with kirpans, cutting up our own people. And we, that was the message that we've fought so many years to change. And we have to change that message. Absolutely. Why well, Sabji, one of the best questions that you know, can be asked to yourselves is that while the world recognizes Sikh faith as peace-loving community, mm. a faith that encourages Nam Simran Barney fighting for justice, also spreading the message of harmony and peace and equality, but we don't see as many conversions happening mm -hmm. as other faiths. Mm -hmm. The other faiths do have an active approach mm -hmm. to go out and mm -hmm. target for conversion. Right. But in Sikhi, we don't see it happening Anji. as actively Anji. or as often. While we are open for everybody, where, where Harbanda Sahib, you know, mm -hmm. the open doors for everybody. And if you go today in these days when it's holiday season, you can see so many people from different faiths Anji. actually coming there Anji. and everybody having immense respect for our faith. But there is no active conversion Anji. Anji. happening and we as Sikhs don't have an active um, kind of right now uh, a desire to you know actually go Anji. out and do something uh, for that Anji. for that so i think you are the best person to ask because mm. you know you have been in this faith for 50 years now how do you think it's best that we not just make people aware about the wonderful mm -hmm. you know teachings of sikhi mm -hmm. but then we actually invite them we actually mm -hmm. open doors and let people to actually become sikhs as well mm -hmm. don't you think that not just doing sikh heritage month and celebrating Vesakhi mm -hmm. together it's not enough we actually need to get people into our faith and increase in numbers so what do you think about it well, the first thing is that as Sikhs, we don't actively try to convert people. Mm. It was never the, the, the message. <clears throat> we come to Sikh, either you were born to it, you came to a desire somehow, came to the feet of the Guru. I think that there's a gap of people's understanding as to really who we are because we look different, uh, where they're not sure of our practice, they're not sure how to embrace into us. Um, we're different from just any person going into a, a, a church or a synagogue or something like that, they could just walk in. We look different. We don't always reach our hand out to uh, invite people to come in. You know, we did broadcasting in Canada for almost 20 years and uh, the first in the world to ever teach Sikhi in English. Hmm. And uh, I would get uh, letters and one woman in particular said, my backyard backs on to a Sikh temple. Hmm. Am I allowed to go in? Hmm. So she didn't know she was allowed to go in. She thought, well, maybe it's closed and you have to only be Sikh because that was, hmm. we didn't open our doors to say, please come in with us. You're very welcome to sit with us. Yeah. So the movement of conversion to Sikhism is a very slow process because you can't become a born again Sikh, right? Hmm. When I became Sikh and I came to the Guru at 24, but it took me about that four year period to say, okay, um, yes, this is really, I mean, I knew from that first time it's what I wanted, but to make the change, you know, clothing, name, the star, everything took a little time because I myself had to change into it. 
And I've worked with, you know, of course, with many English people outside of Sikhi, and I try to be an example as best I can so there can be trust. And um, we get lots of questions, but we don't actively try to convert, nor should we try to convert. But the key is, the more that we can bring to just even experience Gurbani, come to the feet of the Guru, no matter what faith we are, no matter what belief we are, we have to open our doors. And you can listen it in my kata that I'm telling the Gurdwars, even on this trip to UK, every, every Gurdwar, that to get ready. Hmm. Because there's going to come a time when many people from many faiths outside of us, many faiths outside of us, are going to come and they say, can we sit in your, your temple? Because this is the only place we can sit and feel peace. We have to open this. I think we've closed ourselves to letting more people come to us. I think we've been too uh, much in, ingrained into just Sikhi itself to see that our message has to be spread. Hmm. And um, there is language barriers and things. But, you know, times are changing, and our young people, our young adults are going to change it. But Sikhi, you know, you have to remember that of all the great things, Sikhism, Sikhism is known as one of the great world religions, correct? Yeah. But if you look at what those other six, seven world religions, Judaism, about five, ten, fifteen thousand years, hmm. Hinduism, ten thousand years, Buddhism, ten thousand years, Christianity, two thousand years, Sikhi, five hundred and fifty some odd years, right? Hmm is a very early, the youngest of the world's great faiths. And the fact that Guru Nanak Dev Ji could come to this world, and in that short period of time, is there's no other faith beyond those that were established 2,000 plus years ago that has taken the root in the world, in humanity, to create one of the world's greatest faiths. Mm -hmm. But it's young, and it's still evolving. And we're still evolving as Sikhs. Your generation is going to be different than mine. Hmm. God willing, your children's generation is going to be different. But your generation, especially now, has to become the vanguard. Hmm. Because us gray beards are going to go soon. Hmm. And we've had a lot of control over everything. Hmm. But especially, and for women to take that responsibility in that role. That's what Guru Nanak Dev Ji said. Hmm. Kalsa has no gender. Does Kalsa have a gender? Nay, did Guru Gobind Singh say, only men are Khalsa, women you're just... Nay, mm -hmm. he said, Khalsa has no gender. Khalsa has no geography. Well, you can't be a Sikh, you weren't born in Punjab, is not true anymore. How many were you born in Punjab? Were you born in... You know what I'm saying? Khalsa has no geography. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, is echoed exactly what Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, respect and bring everybody, no matter of caste, color, creed, race, religion, faith, preference. Absolutely. Get everybody. And we have to be the vanguard of that message. Hmm. And we're not. Other people are taking that message, we're not. And that's why I say we're young, we're growing, we're being tested as a faith. But remember when they and we're coming to Baisakhi now, that when they tried to kill Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, they thought if they killed him, that would end Sikhi, right? Did it end Sikhi? Nay. It made us even stronger. Yeah. And more integrated for especially your generation to really take the reins of it. Right? Yeah. Sure. You have to become, here in the UK, one of the first women presidents of the Gurdwara. Then corruption will end in the Gurdwara. Because your consciousness is not Gola consciousness, your consciousness is nurturing. For 2,000 years, men took this world and made a mess of it. Mm -hmm. Now, as always, women have to come clean the mess. Because in this age coming, these next 2,000 years, it's going to be maternal. Women will, because women will have the consciousness to bring peace, where men just want to prove who they are, and therefore they fight with each other. So there's a lot of movement. Yeah. And there's a lot of movement through, the, through, through Sikhi. Problem is, few of us are talking about it. We're still so stuck in the old habit way of running Gurdwars, of running Sikhi. It doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Just as these governments don't work anymore and cracks are coming. Right? But because we are evolving, you have to make those changes. And Mafkarniji, if I'm saying something that people don't like, it doesn't matter. But I'm telling you the truth. Sure. Very well said, Paiji. Would you like to inform our Sangat about any other um, tour dates, any other Gurdwara you're going to Anji. soon visit in the UK Anji. or Canada? 
Well, we're here. We're here for another uh, two weeks. We're here till April 18th. We're in Wolverhampton, Gudwarsheim. We're in Slough. Uh, we'll be for five nights uh, from the 10th of uh, April to the 15th of April. Is at the Park Street Gudwar in South Hall. I'll be there every evening. I believe some 7 to 8 p.m. We have a few other programs. You can see uh, we post it on anunlotus.com, uh, the programs. And then, of course, just visiting with Sangit and other interviews. And uh, back in Canada, we're, we're the same. We're very busy and education uh, through my Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube channel to just spread this message that we're talking about today. And, um, you know, you're asking the good questions of understanding. And my prayer is that you and your generations and others can really take a grip on what's happening and see that Sikhi has a great future that has to be given. And yes, there are problems and they're not right, but let's not react to these problems. Let's act hmm. in these problems. Sure. We have to take all these emotions and turn them to devotion. And devotion is a divine ocean. It's huge. It's fast. Guruji teaches us unlimited. The teachings of Sikhi create a human mind that can process 20 times faster than the normal mind if you understand the essence of the Shabbat. Absolutely. Uh, Pai Sabji, would you like to also appeal for the viewers to support Sikh channel because in the times of um, changing age demographic, we don't want the channel to just be for older generation. Anji. It is for the upcoming generation. Anji. I know there can be sometimes a little bit language barrier, Anji. but still, sooner or later, we all have to support Sikh avenues. What Anji. would you like to say to the Sikh? Well, avenues? we have to continue to support, support Sikh channel in, in, in its broadcasting and bring in more of a, a younger youth element like yourselves and others to send. You have to become the message to the new generation. And Sikh channel has to grow because if you just do the old, then you're losing viewership. The young adults, young people, young professionals in our faith will not watch. Yeah. So you have to be relevant. Hmm. Today in media, you have to be relevant. Yeah. So you as part of Sikh channel have to be relevant and determine for Sikh channel what is relevant yeah. and become a message for the youth, become a message for this generation. Yeah. And then Sikh channel will be successful for years and years and years to come. If you don't, you will lose that. So that's my message. Thank you. It has Thank to be a wake-up call. And your generation, make it relevant. That should be the tagline, Sikh channel, making it relevant. Then you're assured, Guruji shall take care of the rest. Thank you so much, Pai Sabji, for joining Sikh Channel today. And uh, we hope uh, you keep coming back to UK yes. to keep the, giving darshan to the Sangat Thank over you, here. Too. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as Pai Sabji said, you can join um, the tour in Slough or Wolverhampton in upcoming days. Thank you.